Welcome to the second part of my introductory video on how to build an electronic kit that requires soldering. In the first part of this video, I reviewed the basics of soldering and some safety precautions. And I even went so far as to solder one of my components onto the circuit board. But as you can see, there's some excess wire left over from the resistor component. And so in the course of this second part of the introductory video, I will go over the procedures needed to cut off the excess wire and give you a refresher course on how to solder your components to the circuit board. So the first thing you're going to need in order to cut off your excess wire is an instrument called a wire cutter, also available at Radio Shack and other electronic appliance stores. But there's also two things that you need to remember before you cut off the excess wire from your circuit board. First thing is that you have to check to make sure that your component is securely soldered and, and secure to the circuit board. And the way you do this is by moving your finger and seeing if the joint moves or if it's stationary. And if it's stationary, then you can go ahead and clip off your excess wires. But the second thing you have to remember when clipping off your excess wires is that the wire acts like a wick to guide the solder to the correct joint. So you want to make sure that you keep enough wire so that in the chance that your joint component is incorrectly soldered and needs to be soldered again, you can do that and you have enough wire in order to do that correctly. So you're going to take your wire cutters just like this. And this seems like a good enough length in order to be able to clip your wires. And you're just going to clip one, clip two. You left enough wires so that in case you need to solder again, you can. And that's how you clip the excess wire off of your circuit board. So now I'm going to give you a refresher course on how to properly solder your components to the circuit board. And I'm going to use resistor number two. So you're going to take your manual, because you can never be too careful, and you're going to review the striping pattern necessary for the resistor. So resistor number two uses a striping pattern of brown, black, and orange. And so I'm going to turn it this way so that it's lined up brown, black, and orange. And I'm going to very gently bend the wires of this component, like so, and like so so that they'll fit the holes in the corresponding R2 slot in your circuit board, which is right here. You're going to stick the wires through here. Make sure that they're lined up correctly. Brown, black, orange. Brown, black, orange. Stick them through the circuit board. Make sure that it's secure on this side. And then you're going to flip your circuit board over. Use gravity as your friend once again so that the solder will spill away from the joints and you're going to begin soldering. So the first thing, if you remember from the first part of my video, is that you need to tin the tip of your soldering iron, like so. Wipe the excess on a wet sponge and you're ready to solder. You're going to heat the joint. Like so. And you're going to go to the second component. Now we have to clip off the excess wires from this joint as well. So we're going to use the thing that we just learned on how to secure, uh, on remembering when to clip off your wires. See the excess there? You're going to make sure that your resistor is secure to the board, and it is. It's stationary. So now you have the go ahead, and you can go ahead and clip your excess wire and make sure that it's at a proper length. And that's how you solder. And that's how you clip off the excess. Thank you very much.